Okay, coach's office. Uh, back in the, uh, this is really comfortable for me. I've never been comfortable in the coach, coach's office before. Maybe it's because I'm a coach now and a good coach. Because we're on top of the ladder down the GFL. Did you know this? You'd know this. Uh, well, maybe you feel comfortable in the coach's office because you know the you can't get into trouble. You can't get into trouble, and the you know the intricate pulling apart of your own performance doesn't actually happen. Yeah. The most common word used when I was in the coach's office was "why," oh, <laughs> "why," going through the tape. Why did you do? What oh, was this about? <laughs> I reckon the most common word that I possibly could have used with you would have been insipid. <laughs> insipid defence. <laughs> well, I'll go with that. I'll Outstanding offence. Thank you. Yes, but... Insip but it's good that you've turned it around because, uh, yeah, you co you're going really well with your Going coach. really well. And I must say, if I knew then what I know now, I would have hated me as a player because <laughs> you do want tackles, don't you? Yeah, every now and then that would be good. But, yes. but I must admit, the club that you take... The club that you... Now, have sitting on top of the ladder, foundations were laid some time ago with those young blokes. That's, that's a complete and utter lie. I've been told. It's been hard yakking for me to get them on the culture right. Because you did coach them, didn't you? Anyway, let's, yes. let's not bag you because... Uh, everyone else does that. Everyone else is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon we're doing the right thing in terms of setting up the right culture here at the World yeah. Football Club at the moment. And it's, and it's progressing well. I know, because I've seen you in a second. But let's talk about the game on the weekend. Brisbane... First quarter was really good, and yeah. some really uh, good efforts by some young players. Sure. Uh, again, short term, so we call it seven-day goggles. Uh, unfortunate that we had some peaks and troughs, you know, within the game, and and early on, uh, I, I thought, in particular, again, our younger brigade really, mm. really stood up, mm. and uh, so that was pleasing. We're at the stage where we're unable to sustain that type of football for a full four quarters. And, you know, it's it's frustrating from week to week, but we can see some things developing. And, you know, Brisbane, to their credit, are playing a really good brand of footy and mm. they've got some players in our terms that would be up and, up and running. But their speed and, and their ability to, to run hard both ways is really good. And, you know, Jonathan Brown was, was plucking quite a few. We could, just couldn't cope with him at, at times. Um, yeah. You know, the positives were certainly, you know, positive inside 50 count, tackle count, contested possessions, um... I think we went down by one in the clearances, mm. you know, which was a reasonable effort against that side. You know, mm. but we just couldn't defend some of their slick ball movement and their ability to run between the arcs, which was disappointing. And we want to go, you know, better than 54 inside 50s for eight goals. But we're playing against the Tigers this week, another really good outfit, mm. Mm. and uh, they had a although they didn't get the chocolates over in Adelaide, yeah. you know, they started really well. So we've got a another challenge that. You know, you know, our developing young boys are going to go out and have a crack at. You've had some 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 weeks in the coaching role now. It'd be about what? We well, had week tw twelve games. Twelve games plus a pre-season. What sort of coach are you finding that you are? Senior coach, because you've been an assistant coach for a while. You coached outright in the country, but senior sure. coach AFL, you're starting to learn a bit more about yourself. People ask, what sort of coach is Mark Neild? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no short answer, and I've found that that out within the coaching. There's very um, seldom a short answer. Often the type of coach that you are depends on where your group is at in terms of development. Mm -hmm. We're doing right now our coaching group is certainly very much a, an educational development coach. Uh, you know, one of the reasons that being able to spend some I'm coaching a, a lot now from down at ground level just to speak to the players, speak to them face to face, talk about some of the things that they're doing on the ground. Uh, we've got some basic fundamentals in our game that we need to become ingrained. Mm -hmm. uh, so right now, there's very much, you know, the development. And you've got to blend in into that or mix into that some tactical type work. Uh, uh, there's a lot of just basic development coaching going on, which is where, th that's because that's where our list is at. Yeah. Right, okay, Tigers coming up this week. Uh, it's going to be a big game because they come out, the Tiger fans, they like to, yeah, they do. They like to follow. But our, I reckon our supporters have been fantastic this year. They've... They've jumped on board and we've had good crowds, so I reckon this is going to be a big game. How we place? How are we looking? Yeah, I, look, just to reinforce that, you know, we have over just over 35,000 paid-up members, and they've been great. We get a lot of positive uh, feedback from them, uh, you know, a lot of encouraging letters, messages that the players and the coaching group get, and the way that they do, you know, come along to every game. You know, we're hoping we can get, you know, 40, 50,000 plus to come out on the weekend and, and see us have a battle against the Tigers. And uh, again, you know, it's great. We've got a young group who are going to take the challenge head on and mm. we're, we're showing 
some signs of our basic fundamentals of footy are coming along, mm -hmm. and you know another challenge if we can make it even more consistent this week. We'll get Nathan Jones back. Nathan Jones has every chance to play and still needs to get through training. He'd be the, you know, so we've got you know Nathan Jones, Mark Jamar, uh, Brad Green uh, that we're hoping can get through training and put the hand up for selection. Just to remind you, on top of the ladder down at the GFL at the moment, if you want to call, we'll learn a few things. Give us. <laughs> no doubt, just. Uh, Stick to your day job. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Robbo. <laughs>